Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Avada Role Manager. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. The Avada Role Manager can be found in the Avada Builder Options from the Avada Dashboard at Options, Builder Options. Just scroll to the very bottom. This is an extension of the user roles and capabilities already native to WordPress. The Role Manager allows you to control what levels of access the various user types on your site have to specific Avada components. Each user type has defaults appropriate for the role, and you can fully customize each role to suit your needs. The default WordPress roles are Editor, Author, Contributor, and Subscriber. Obviously there is also Admin, but they have full access to everything, so we don't need to include them in this discussion. If you have WooCommerce enabled, you will also have Customer and Shop Manager, other plugins may also add further roles, such as Keymaster, Moderator, Participant, Spectator, and Blocked, which for example are all added by BB Press. Furthermore, if you add a custom user role with a the plugin, they will also be added to the list. Each user role has a default level of access. As we can see here with the Editor role, their access is almost complete, with only access to the Avada Global Options, the Avada Prebuilts, and Avada Studio off by default. As you go down from Editor to Subscriber, for example, the levels of access lessen extremely from almost all to none. The strength of the Role Manager is that it allows you to individually customize the access levels for each type of user to suit your requirement. There is also a Reset Role button on each user role. If you reset a native WordPress user role, such as Editor and Author, the default access levels will be restored. If you reset a custom user role, all values will be greyed out, indicating that access will be denied or granted based on the capabilities set for these roles. A special mention should also be made of the Avada Forms section and the View Submissions switch that is independent from the dashboard access. In that way, you can give a certain user role access to the form submissions without any other form access. Or conversely, you can give a user role access to create or change forms, but can turn off the access to view the submission entries. Let's look at the Contributor user role to see what options can be set. The same options are on all user roles. The only difference is what options are enabled. With most sections, you can enable or disable dashboard access, and if you do that, the other access options are also turned off. But you can also enable or disable the backend or live builder, as well as the page options on each section. For my example here, I might have a contributor who just writes blog posts for me. So in that situation, I might turn off access to all areas except posts, and even there I could decide which builder they have access to, and whether they need access to the page options. So as you can see, this is a pretty powerful tool. And with this, you can set your user access permissions to whatever you like, protecting the integrity of your website. OK, this concludes our video on how to use the Avada Role Manager. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada. 